Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have a surprise for those of you who are familiar with my YouTube playlist, The Elder Race, Martian Bacterial Colonists of Earth. As you may know, there are seven videos on that playlist and they're a pretty good introduction to my first contact with the Martians who have migrated here to Earth. But in addition to that, I have quite a bit more information uh, to do with my first contact with the Martians and that you can find on my website Awakening with Planet Earth https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com From there you search for Compendium of the Martian Archives Bacterial Colonists of Earth That has a list of all of my posts regarding that same topic, some of which include videos and some of which do not. These posts go from the current year, 2022, on back a number of years. See, this was 2016, a big year, 2015 and 14. And in 2013, I had actual first contact. I have to tell you, I was so weirded out by that first contact that it took me a few years to get into the swing of things. You know, speaking with alien species is an affront to our, all of our cultural assumptions. And in order to channel clearly, we have to set those cultural assumptions aside and think like the aliens. So if you'd like to get into more on the topic of Martians as they truly are, you can go to my website, Awakening with Planet Earth, and search through that compendium and find out quite a bit more. I have a teaser, a few um, images that I've created to get kind of a feel for the situation. This is an image of an astronaut inside of a certain type of living organism that I feel wended its way by hitchhiking on meteors from Mars to Earth in the very earliest times of Earth when there were volcanoes and seething seas of amino acid soups. Um, and I could tell you a little more about it, but I don't want to spoil the surprise for you. I have here one more picture. This is a picture of the influence of the Martians on the human psyche. Here we have the influence of Venus, planet Venus and the Hathors, on the higher minds of the human being. And here we have the influence of the Martians to do with the gut brain and the subconscious mind. These two, the Venusians and the Martians, work with ourselves in human form in order to create a species viable on Earth but nevertheless capable of reaching the stars. As I'm sure you already know, I have one last thing. This is the great enemy of the Martian colonists of planet Earth. The very one. So. That's all for now. I hope you get a chance to do a little more research if that's your inclination into first contact with the true Martians of Earth, planet Earth. I wish you the very best in, in your studies and understanding of all the beings here on Earth and in the stars. Bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days.